That's your start. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome back to the setup. I'm here with my boy Alex. Solid. How you doing today? I'm good, man. I'm excited. You're excited. I'm man. not excited. Dude, don't be excited. No, I am don't excited. Be excited. Everyone's giving me a hard time. All of our, uh, all of our followers, all two of them are like, dude, when are you gonna start posting more? It's just been a crazy time. Your two followers are you and me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but our two followers are my girlfriend and your wife. But that's true. She said this morning, she was like, why hasn't Chaz put did me she on there? Really? She really did. I was like, I totally forgot I had to do this today. Chaz asked me, and she was like, well, he didn't ask me. So Yeah. We need to do an episode with Miss Dobler. We do. That'd be hilarious. Mrs. Mrs. Dobler. Dobler. Right. And, and Clayton. And that. Mm, How that, do you think Clayton would do on a show? He would hate it. Why would he think, hate it? I don't know if he would hate it. I don't think he would understand what's happening, so he would just keep running around. Oh, yeah. There you go. That makes sense. So, I, I mean, d- as long as you do it in the gym here, it should be okay because he can just run around and play basketball. Silas and, does the same thing when we do He just runs around shows, and so. has no idea what's going on. Most most <laughs> of the week, yeah. Sounds about right. So on the recording of this episode, I think it will post today, Sweet. but on the recording of this episode, you're actually about to – be an adult for your first I time am. leading worship. Well, I, I've been an adult. Well, I'm going to be in that's adult true. worship. I'm yep. going to lead adult worship. You're going to be leading adult worship for the first time. How are you feeling about that? Dude, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Got Why a good are you excited? Um, There's nothing to be excited for. I'm just kidding. I was going to say, like, who do you think you are, man? <laughs> who do you think <laughs> you are? I, I mean... I can't sing or play guitar, so that's pretty cool that you're doing that. But you said you used to lead your people in your old church singing. Yeah, so a little bit. You could sing a little bit. Just just, just barely to, enough. Yeah. We we weren't the... Yeah. That's not saying much. Well, saying more about... Yeah, but anyways. Well. <laughs> no slander, no church slander right. on the show. We, we love, love the big love C my, church. I love my... My old church. Yes. We just, we Shout didn't out have Chaz's a lot of old good church. Singers. We just didn't have a lot of good singers. That's all right. But it is what it is. But my guy stepped up. I would do some student stuff. And you yeah. did tell me the other day you did some interpretive dance for him too. No, that is not that <laughs> is not true. You just made that up. We did do puppet shows though. All right, that works. <laughs> that that could be your interpretive dance. Yeah. So there puppet was shows. something called lads to leaders, and how it would work is we would like train for like four months and get this like puppet routine down and then we'd go to Louisville to this convention and perform it for judges. Did you ever win? I think we got like third one time. Hey, that's pretty, out of how many? <laughs> out of like five or six. Okay. It's in different like, it's in like different groups. Yeah. So like, I, I don't know. It was just fun. That's cool. I mean, it was just something we did to like goof off. Just to do. Have a fun time. Oh, that's cool. Shoot out, uh, shout out to Suzanne, shout out Suzanne would be the pu- she was our puppet teacher. If she if she ever sees this, she will shout won't, out. Though. There's no <laughs> way. If Suzanne, are you if you're watching this, I don't know what to say. What's I'd up? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> exactly. So I did get you on here today uh, to talk to you about Motion Night. Oh yeah, a couple weeks ago. Now, oh, yeah. Um, Initial thoughts from what was a crazy night. Wild. That's it the, was just wild, it was wild was your term. It was that was your word for the evening. It was. Like there's some good things that come out of the wild. There's some yeah. bad things that come out of the wild. But all in all it was What wild. are you like are you someone who likes to hear the good news first or the bad news first? I really don't care. I I'm an I'm an optimist slash like a dreamer. We were talking about this the other day back in uh, Victoria and Sarah's office. I I see the good in everything. Yeah. I'm an, I'm like an analyzer. Yeah. So it could go either way for me. You break it down, but you see yeah. more of like the bad stuff and right. I yeah. do. I do look at some so of that. You're yeah. definitely a pessimist. No, I'm not. A, <laughs> that's not what an analyzer <laughs> is. I'm not. I because I, I don't know. I think my opinion of things gets in my own way sometimes. Cause that's I fair. That's that, easy to do. That's right. Yeah. You know. But right. Like for example, Phil Wickham. Is goaded. Is goaded. He right. is goaded. Right. <laughs> I've, I've, I've. <laughs> You've come around on him. Yeah, I've come around. He's the goat. I don't know if he's the goat, but he's well, Jesus actually. Jesus is the uh, goat. Well, yeah. 
That's true. That's fair. That's fair. There you go. You but the podcast I, th- right I there. think honestly, like your style is good for Phil Wickham songs. So now that I've yeah. heard like you do some of them, I like them a lot more. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, well, like no shade on Aquila, but like Aquila has a certain voice that works with different songs. Yeah, it's just and not, my voice just works not a, well with other yeah, songs. I he, agree. He is like he. I say it all the time. He sounds exactly like Need to Breathe. He does. It's he ex- is kind of like, like the Mercy Me type. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm more of a Phil Wickham like Casting Crowns kind of guy. There you go. I did have one guy growing up in college. He was like, dude, you got that Casting Crowns voice. And I was like, sick. For anyone who's not listening to this, like describe Casting Crowns. Casting Crowns is like... What did I just say? Who, If anyone who's not listening whoever's to this... Whoever's not listening to this... I meant, who, so this is for... anyone who's listening to this... <laughs> this is for people who don't exist, because you have to be listening right, to this. Right, if you're listening to this, then... I meant, for people who are listening that don't know what Casting Crowns is. don't know who Casting Crowns is. Casting Crowns, they, them and like Mercy Me, they were the iconic like late 90s and 2000s okay. yeah. band, worship band. There you so go. So if you hear like a, a 2000s Christian song, it was probably done by one of those two bands. I like that song, Even If. Dude, that one's so good. Yeah. One, of the, one of my favorite ones is uh, Who Am I. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah. Casting yeah. Crowns just and Mercy Me, they just put out bangers only. But yeah, it, you, bangers only. Bangers you know, only. And here in ESM, Mo- Motion I I think was a success. I agree. It just I agree. There were some things we were not prepared for. That is also. Would you agreeable. Would you like to to like what was something that you thought like going into Motion I and then it was just like completely different. Well, I thought it was going to be a lot more like I don't want to say spiritual, but like worshipful you know okay. what I'm saying I thought that the kids would like settle down a little more I thought that I overestimated their maturity <laughs> if that makes sense yeah no that's fair like yeah. and I'm throwing no shade like they're middle schoolers and it was like what was, what did we say like 70% middle schoolers yeah there's 70% middle schoolers a crazy stat was like 20% of the kids were like 8th graders about to be freshmen Oh my! So like right in that in between phase of right. like they're immature, but also think they're like super cool. Right. <laughs> so they're they're the cool kids of the middle school, but they're the nobodies of the high school. Yeah. Yes. We've all been there. So I, uh, no my shade. My eighth grade year actually was probably my favorite year. Really? Of public school. Yeah. Yeah. It really was. It was a good time. I had some good friends. I loved all my days in school. Yeah, I had two brothers that paved the way for me. Well, you, we school. talked about this last time. You That's peaked true. in high school. I peaked in high school for sure. Yeah. But like, it was easy for me because like my parents ran sound at basketball games. My family was well known throughout the town. So yeah. like, high school was fun for me. That's kind of why. That's probably how it would be for Cash at Jeff High. Yeah, because me, and, me and Carson, back to back, just graduated like, there. So I mean. You made it, made it your place. You're like, yeah. This is, this <laughs> no, is I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but I, w- I will say that for motion night, I mean, we had 240 kids here. We did, which was more than what you had the first time. It right? felt like, yeah, it it was, but it felt like we had 350. Yeah, it was a because of the energy, kids. but yes. the energy just never seemed to like come never down. Yeah, it just like, was always like the energy was never like dialed in it was right. always just sporadic the kids no were, yeah i agree there were there were sometimes it was the my favorite moment was when skylar was singing uh so will i and then i looked out and like i didn't even sing a word on that song like it was all yeah. skylar and i was just sitting back here and i just looked out and then i saw hands raised and it was quiet it's all little pockets of yeah and i was like worship now we're getting it now we're getting there yep and then by the end of the night kids were a little bit more honed in and, and we were you know good. we were kind of discouraged with ourselves that mm. you know we were not prepared for that because truthfully the first motion night was not like that right and so we didn't really know what to expect and when it was so crazy we didn't really know what to do yeah um but i i think we'll be ready for the next one i think so now that we've had both ends of the spectrum we can Motion kinda... nights on youtube if you want to check it out yes like and subscribe right now the setup is doing better than motion nights which triggers me Yikes. because this takes me like 45 minutes to get done that's true where the motion night service <laughs> takes like days <laughs> like hours and hours <laughs> of work so ah. 
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we won't record the next one. Well, and then you'll just have to be here. Boom! Be there yeah. or be square. Because if you're square, that means you're not around. Yep. Exactly. But, period. I, what was your favorite part of Motion Night? Um, my favorite part, honestly, was um, after the service, right before I left, I heard like two or three kids uh, talking to Luke about getting baptized. And I was cool. like... That's a win. That means what there we did go. was worth it. W. Big dubs. <laughs> no no L's. We turn them into dubs. Oh. Uh, that's like what that. Jesus did with us. Exactly. exactly. We were all walking L's. <laughs> walking L's. <laughs> you think you're fit today is a walking L? Uh, Kelsey picked it out, so yes. Oh, dang. Kelsey thought, picks out my clothes every day. Solid. Yeah. Um, I actually, the shoes... I believe, are the only part of my outfit that I bought myself. That you bought yourself? Okay. Yes. She bought me the like shirt. Those jeans. She bought me these jeans. We got these at, it was a place in Seymour. It was like, uh, oh, what's it? it's like one of those off-brand places. Off-brand places. It's like yeah. Walmart version of of uh, Kohl's. Okay. The Walmart like, version of Kohl's. Or like Kmart version of Kohl's. I, I just bought two pairs of jeans at Buckles. It's and too expensive I, for me. I found man. out for the first time in my life. This this is showing my age and how often I shop. But I found out that there's a such thing as a store credit card. That's true. I have so, multiple like, things of that. <laughs> I have multiple store Dude. credit cards. I do. I have one at, at Dick's Sporting Goods. I have one at uh, Louisville Overstock. I have one at Guitar Center. And musician's friend and Sweetwater. Well, if you pay it off, I guess it's fine. Right, so it's fine. But I don't know. I'm a no credit card guy. I used to have an old Navy one. Yeah, but I was like, but they're like shop for fifty percent off. You can get a Buckle credit card, and I was like, there's a Buckle credit card. Mm, there's there's so. a Buckle credit card, or there's a credit card for like everything. I'm surprised. Is there a McDonald's a credit, card? credit card? I probably. I might. I might actually get. I one would of those. get that. What do you what do you think about like fast food? Because I love, I, I love it too, but I'm I'm saying a lot of people think, for example, like Chick Fil A is way better than everything else. Like, are you one of those guys? I don't or? think it's like way better than everything else, but like when it comes to chicken, I think they do it probably the best, in my opinion. See, I disagree. I think uh, Zaxby's does it better. I would. I thought Zaxby's was Zaxby's. Zaxby's was kind of mid. You just tried it the other day. Though. I know. I've only had it once. So, <laughs> but yeah. initial thoughts, it was mid. I'll tell you what. Anyone who says that Popeyes doesn't have the best chicken sandwich is lied to themselves. So I opinion. haven't had a Popeyes chicken sandwich. Dude, I had Popeyes for the first let's time go the other for day. Lunch right now, Aquila got. I had to go pick him up from Tired Discounters, and so he was like, "I'll get you lunch." I was like, "All right, bet." We went to Popeyes, and I was like. Nuggets. I'll get like a twelve piece nugget. Yeah. Didn't realize they were like miniature chicken strips. Oh yeah, they're, they're like huge. Yeah, they're pretty. I only I got a twelve count. I only ate like five. Yeah, they were massive. I like Popeyes. I, I in my opinion, all fast food is like the same, and I, I get a lot of hate kinda, for that. Yeah, but like I mean, it's all greasy and bad for you. But exactly, it's all like delicious going in, and then like you just feel terrible about yourself afterwards. Like thirty. Minutes after. Fair. Well, I mean, like, like, not Subway. Like, I love Subway. But it depends on what you get. Right. But I, I'm talking more like... Like burgers and fries? Yeah. Yes. Like, non-sandwich places. I feel like sandwich mm. places are, like, their own type of fast food. Like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger Yeah. King. So, like, for example... Are you talking about, like, Subway, like, Jersey Mike's? No, no, no. So, I'm saying, like, Dairy Queen. They're an ice cream place. You think they're an ice cream place? Yeah. It's literally Dairy Queen. So they're But they're, they're fast food. They have fast food, yes. But okay. they are an ice cream place. I'm talking more like fried food, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay. But like for me, Dairy Queen and Chick fil A, I don't really see that much of a difference. I like I enjoy Massive Dairy Queen difference. like like a chicken bat you've never had a good chicken basket from Dairy Queen? No, because I go there and I get ice cream. I'll go to Chick Fil A and get my chicken sandwich, and then I'll go to Dairy Queen and get ice cream for dessert. Okay, that that's a good question. Then, if you had to build like the best fast food meal, what would it be? So let's let's do this. Okay, we're gonna do, you know, entree. Okay. So meaning like 
It could be a chicken sandwich or like a burger. Okay. Or like, you know, if, if you want to be that guy and get nuggets, that's cool too. Yeah. Then your side. Okay. And then your drink. And then your dessert. Okay, so I'll start. Okay. Entree, I'm going Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. I'm a wuss. I can't do spicy stuff. So that's the problem. That's why you wouldn't like it. That's true. Because it's delicious. Well, what would I you go you. for your on like your <sighs> main? I don't know. Like, there's so many good things like staples that I get. Like a quarter pounder is fire. <laughs> like a like a. I, just I've a, only gotten chicken nuggets at McDonald's for my entire life. Yikes! I've never had a burger from McDonald's. Yikes! Like I, they're I, delicious. I have, but I've never like ordered one. But there's like, also now I am on a Wendy's hiatus. I am boycotting Wendy's because they got rid of my favorite burger. It was the uh, Kelsey knows the name of it, but it's like it's like the Monterey Cheddar Burger. Oh, okay. And it had like is Monterey that the one with Cheddar the pretzel on top. bun? No, that's oh. the like Bacon Pub Burger. Oh, okay. Um, but it had like yeah. this cheese sauce. I'm gonna go with that one for my entree. Okay. Um, oh man, but then Taco Bell has the grilled cheese burrito, <laughs> dude. All right, so so okay, one of the I'll, I'll do I'll go with the Wendy's. Okay, burger. okay. The so the Wendy's burger. burger. For me, I'm going with my if you know we're taking anything my spicy because I actually hate Popeyes fries. I hate them. I never Fair. get them. So I get the spicy chicken sandwich at Popeyes, and then I'd probably have to go with McDonald's fries, dude. I'm. I'm gonna have to do Chick Fil A waffle fries, waffle fries over McDonald's in fries? honey mustard, like dip them in honey mustard. Well, that's that's a different. We'll actually add the the, so- uh, the sauce. Okay. okay. Well, I'm still gonna go with them because because like, in they, my opinion, a good fry doesn't need sauce. I mean, agreed, agreed. And McDonald's fries, okay, well, I then, like. I don't have to eat them with sauce. Sometimes I do. Okay. But, so, what about? What if you get like a loaded rallies fry? Is that yeah, that counts. Okay, I'm gonna do the loaded okay, rallies fries then. Then what about like a drink? I can feel my arteries clogging already. <laughs> um, I I personally think um, I've actually only drank water for like the last couple months or like tried to sick brag. And so <laughs> I actually I hate it every time I like try to drink a soda. I, I actually. Don't like it because it's like hey, but good for you. My though. taste buds aren't like used to the carbonated sugar, so it just all tastes gross. What's it like to be kind of healthy? I'm not. I'm only kind of healthy. Right. That's a good way to put I, it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even kind of healthy. Who do you think's the healthiest person on staff? On staff? Yeah, probably Sarah. Really? I would imagine so. Like, see, I feel like Sarah. Like, no offense if you're watching this. I feel like she's secretly like she. Like loves like McDonald's Dude. and stuff like that. Well, I mean, maybe I would have to go with Neil. Okay, because he's he's doing no carb, right? But is that by choice or is that by force? That might be by force. Okay, I think it's by force. So I don't think that, that kind of disqualifies yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. He says that carbs are the devil. He's not wrong. That's his thing. Yeah, he's um, not wrong. I feel like I don't know. I feel like Amy eats pretty well. Yeah. That's true. But to be fair, I've only been here for like three months. I don't know what everybody eats. eats the worst? Aquila. Oh, yeah, that's fair. A thousand percent. He always eats like gas station food. He either eats Popeyes or gas station food or just he dips his fingers in grease and licks it off. He would be the type of guy who would just take like a soda can and then like fry it and then eat it. Yep. Just the soda can. And he'd be like, yep, this is delicious. (laughs) Be like this is literally the best thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> yeah, he one time came in. He was had like a couple chicken thighs and like. Um, he came in yesterday. He with had like a, these orange talkies. It was like, dude, what? How do you find this stuff? Right. He came in yesterday with a with a bowl of, it was sausage gravy and eggs from Circle K. No, that's just so gross. I was like, this is. This is not healthy, Yuri. not good food. Anyways, anyway. what, what would be your soda? I would have to go with McDonald's Diet Coke. I was going to go with McDonald's regular Coke. Yeah. Because diet stuff is They have something the with their fountain. It's like their their uh, their sugar water. Is yeah, like I don't know really, what it is. It's really like, good. It. I forget. I've read about it before. Yeah. It's just rare. That's what makes it like so good. I would, I would have a, a tie between that. I don't know. The, the Baja Blast at Taco Bell is pretty good, too, though. The Big Red at, ba- at uh, Taco Bell is... The Big Red? The Big Red is yeah. pretty fire. Kelsey would say the Big Red at Taco Bell. 
So, but I'm gonna go with the Coke. What would McDonald's. Clayton say? Clayton would say milk from his bluey cup <laughs> only. <laughs> Anything else? Milk from the bluey cup. That actually does sound fire. It is. I'll have to have one of those tonight. Like just, this morning, just go to bed. He, milk from the bluey cup, and it leaks. And this morning, he his cup leaked milk all over the couch. And Kelsey was like, "I'm fed up with it. I'm done. We're done with this cup." And he won't drink out of anything else. He's like, "Nope, bluey cup." He's like, only. "I'd rather die." Yeah, <laughs> I'm like. Dude, he's like, die of thirst or drink out of a different cup. Right. He's it's like, it's the it's the verbal meme of the office when uh, Michael Scott is like, is there any other alternative to six hours of counseling with Toby Flinderson? And Gabe is like, the alternative is termination. And he's like, like seriously <laughs> considering it. Yeah, I like the office. The, the Big office, office guy. Not the same. And then for my dessert, hmm. I'd have to probably go. The thing is, I would say a blizzard, but there's just so many of them. I don't so know if many. like one like sticks out out of all of them to me. So maybe yeah. I would honestly go with like a Wendy's chocolate frosty. That's pretty. That's pretty good. It's just it's just solid. It you is. know what you're getting you can every never, time. You can never go wrong with it's it. It's never it's never gonna be bad unless you throw it up. Then you could go. I've wrong never with had it, a a frosty that I didn't think was good. Fair. I've had a blizzard that was like, eh, was this was not mid. worth it, you yeah. know, but um I would do Yeah, there's so many good ones. Kelsey would be mad if I didn't say crumble. Um oh, crumble cookie. Yeah, she's Those a, are so she's expensive. a big expensive. Okay. Um it is the uh white chocolate chip raspberry bunt cake. There you go. I like bunt cakes or the double chocolate. I like the snickerdoodle one. Yeah. Yeah. The Oreo one that they came out with Dude, is really good, too. that is fire. I had that for my birthday. It's limited time. So yeah. if you're thinking of going to Bunt Cakes, get that one before it's gone. I, li- I like the, the the simpleness of the Bunt Cakes. Yes. The, the icing always being the same. Some people don't like that. To me, that gives it more value. Exactly. Kelsey always tries to eat only the center out of all of my bunk cakes. I'm like, no. She just no. takes a bite of the entire, like, Literally. icing. Like, she's the kind of person that has a cupcake and she just eats the icing and throws the See, whole cupcake See, I actually away. am a cake guy. Like, I like cake more than the icing. That would work well for you two. <laughs> we need to share a cake sometime. You guys need, exactly. You guys, <laughs> she can lick off all the, ice, the icing and well, then give you no, the rest. no, that's gross. I well, don't want that's her probably, like that's that. fair. <laughs> just get a knife and scoop it off and then you can have the cake. And then... We'll have the the bluey cup of milk. Yes, because it'll be it'll be great. To Clayton, that's the only th- only thing. The worth only drinking. way, only way to drink any sort of liquid. <laughs> All right, he does drink water out of it too. So. We're about to wrap up real quick. One semi-serious question. Okay. Favorite part about working here? You've been working Dude. here now. Um, I guess what is today? Is today the like six weeks? We- or no, sorry, that was ten weeks or so. It'll be. So I started on April twentieth. It was three twenty twenty three, so it's two two and a half months, almost two and a half months. Yeah. Um, best part about working here, um, dude, just working here is the best part <laughs> just about working, working here. <laughs> like it's one of those it's one of those jobs where when you do it, you're like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, and if I retired from here, I would be very very happy. There you go. Like, there's just, just the culture here is phenomenal. I have to work with some guys that I don't like, but I'm just kidding. I love everybody here. (laughs) Yeah, let's be real. I'm your favorite part about this job. I mean, ah, shucks. (laughs) Uh, yeah. (laughs) Iconic tech worship pastor duo. That's what we do. So go back to the side. Oh yeah. There you go. But. What did we do last time to close it out? Uh, we went all the way. I don't, I don't you remember. had us do something different. I think I just went all the way into the camera. Oh, uh, okay. Because you usually just do it like this. Yeah, just do it like that, and then it like closes on yeah. the last frame. But I like it when you go like, all the way we like in. Stand up and punch it. Yeah, we like Superman go like. You s- you do have that like little curl, like the Superman curl. There you go, right, right here. here. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't like. Show I actually, it off, I actually fixed my hair today. Yeah. Yeah. You probably can't even tell. It looks the no, exact same. No, it looks same, good. But it looks good. I actually used a hair dryer today and dried my yeah. hair and put some gel in it. I've realized that my hair doesn't like a hair dryer. 
Yeah, because it's so thin. So Mine then it really like thick. dries it out, and then it like loses its thickness quicker throughout the day. I so I have to let it like dry on its own. If I wear a hat in the first like hour when I'm like on my way here, I have to wear it the rest of the day because my hair is so flat. Same. It's it's bad. It's like hat for the whole day or no hat for the whole day. Yeah, you There's can't no mix between. it. Yeah, my people who can mix that, I'm the I envy. Blessed. Yeah. Like Aquila, he could just wear a hat, take he got it his, off, and it's. He got his. He does. Uh, he, it does get a little like shifted. At it the does. Front of if he got his summer cut yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a buzz Let's cut. Let's be now. real. That was his night of worship cut. That's true. That is exactly what that was. <laughs> well, because he's got a picture of like three or four night of worships ago in his office, and he looks the exact same. Night of worship now. is tomorrow, so exactly. he's got to do the same. And if you're watching this, you better be there. Come to night of worship. Because it's going to be awesome. You can worship at the front. Yes. With me. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have everybody try to come to the front and just yeah. it's gonna mosh be pit like, style. Well, it's going to be like ESM. It's going to be like the mature, fun version of yes. a mosh pit. We are gonna do good Grace and Echoes though. That dude, I'm and hyped for that. We're gonna. I was riding lights for that, and I was like, "This is gonna be. This is gonna be nice." That and play the blood. Ple- Aquila is excited about yeah. play the blood. He if is he like, can, if he can like try to sing it without crying. Yeah, but. he said, "If I if I make it through the first verse, I'm fine." <laughs> and we did rehearsal on Monday night, and he got to the very last line of it, and I heard him like, he almost he, did. He does make that it. little choke up. Yeah, yeah he, he does that up. for living up too. He did. He does it for everything. He's he's the kind of guy that the music just gets he's like Barry body beacon <laughs> to breathe. <laughs> it's true. But yeah. Hey, no shade though. Like that's no shade. The, we love the, that when guy. The spirit moves, the spirit moves. And the spirit moves in that guy. I cried during that song too, so I, I Living Hope or Plead yeah. the Blood. Uh Living Hope on yeah. the second bridge when it builds. I think the last song like for some reason, like that song it goes like um Oh, where is it? The build on the drums when it kicks in, and then like the vocals rise at the same time. I, I think remember. it's on the the phrase "out of the silence." Oh, that part, yeah. And then it's like the roaring line. Yep. It's like, it's like yes, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. we just heard yeah. some people's ears. Probably. But. So, <laughs> so are you ready to the, Superman it out? Yeah. The last song that I cried was uh, "Yes, I Will" by Vertical Worship. There you go. That one. You and need to do it here. We used to do it all the time at Seymour. I need it on this stage. All right. Next month. Yeah. I probably won't cry during it, but it was <laughs> it was it was a very emotional time in my life. Yeah. And so it was yeah. Was, That's awesome though. And it was like so six months ago. We do here and then we go. <laughs> nice. Thank you.